Welcome, welcome back everybody. Let's continue. So yeah, we saved Ben, even though he's a big liability, he didn't deserve to die. Krista? Everything okay? I mean, he oh, doesn't me. deserve to die. Uh, oh no. Please don't tell me he's dead too. I mean, if he's dead, then Sonic GX98 and Bromet are going to be pissed. Hold on. Is he... dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Whoa! Uh, God damn it, dude, he gave us a heart hey. attack. Hey! Back already? God. We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Oh, okay, Penny. with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Oh god, what is it? Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. No, don't say something like that. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. Aww. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. Go on. What I'm kind interested. of an offer? Pick up your mind. I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me, to my people. Excuse me? We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time, but I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. Hmm. Look, Vernon, you may have been helpful, but you can't tell me what to do, right? And I'm sure as hell ain't gonna give him Clementine, that's for sure. Molly? Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks. For everything. It's been fun. Really? What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded. And I never did like the water. Really? You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Really? Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Aww. You know, 
she may not be Carly, but she's kind of sweet, just like her. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Yeah. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clam, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Well, he's been through a lot, Clem. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed, that's all. I'm sure he'll be fine. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clem. Oh, come on, don't do this. <laughs> I wish there was an option to search for a parent. I mean, really? <laughs> Poor Clam. Is this the end? Oh, no, it isn't. <sighs> Clementine? What? Clementine? Clementine? Clementine, where are you? Everybody? Where the hell is everybody? Um, where are they? Clementine? Clementine! Where is she? Oh, no. God. No, please don't tell me. No, 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 no. I refuse this. I refuse that this actually happens. Uh, what the... My walkie-talkie! Clem? Oh, no. Oh. oh, no. Let's pick up the walkie-talkie. Oh, no. No! Goddamn fucking zombie! Fucking zombies. Fuck them. I... What? Where's Clementine? What? what? <gasps> no! 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 Can't be. No! Fuck. Lee? 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 You out here? Lee? No! 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 We should show them the bike. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever yeah. she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? We need. I need your help. What do you think? Clem may not have much time. 
We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. Really. Well, Kenny, what do you say? Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine. Yes. And I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? What? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Come on, Kenny. Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell, in the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Katya and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. All right, I'm in. Yes, thank you, what Kenny. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a damn minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is, too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right. If he wants it. How about it, Ben? Come on, Ben. I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. Yeah, you do. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Well, I guess we don't. Alright, let's save Clementine. Vernon, here we come, you son of a bitch. Well, I wonder, is Vernon the one from the radio? Yes, then he's gonna get an ass beating. Okay. Ah, oh, nuts. Where the hell are they? Don't tell me they left. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Oh man, don't tell me. <sighs> She's gone, really gone. <sighs> She is, and I'm gonna be so fucking mad. No way. Oh man, don't tell me. Oh. God damn walkers. God damn it all. Oh man. Things get much worse. <gasps> Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody. Oh, you. Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tongue. Who the fuck are you? Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please don't her. Just don't. What? Shit! The Walking Dead, episode 5. No time left. God damn it, no. 
the boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic? You were in 74% of the players killed him. Hypocritic oath. Did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and 66% of the players were rational and honest. Home Alone. Did you bring long time with you to Crawford? You and 73% of the players brought her. For whom the bell tolls, did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 66% of the players pulled him off. The bite reveal. Did you reveal your bite to the group? You and 80% of the players showed the bite. Cool. Who came with you? Oh. Holy shit. Um, Lee and Kenny, 18%. Holy shit. Well, we're second place. I guess that's good. Well, that was it, everybody. Next time, it will be the finale of the Walking Dead game. Will Lee survive? Will Clementine survive? Will Kenny survive? Will Owen and Crystal survive? Will Ben fuck up more and ruin more lives? Will he die? Who is the person on the radio? All these questions will be answered in the finale of the Walking Dead game. See you guys in the final episode of Season 1.